This is the NWA. Actually, no, this is J. Cow's view. I'm your host, J. Cow, and this is my journey. The journey of a journalist, the chronicles of a content creator, the musings of a wrestling fan. I always appreciate you guys tuning in each and every week. It really means a lot to me. This is a presentation of Alliance dash wrestling.com your number one source for news and information with regards to the national wrestling alliance i got a lot the, a lot of things i want to get to this week uh now nwa power is set to premiere at 605 eastern hopefully we will have <laughs> hopefully we'll have the alliance guys podcast reviewing episode two up before the show starts also man i created a little bit of controversy uh I, uh, I put up a video yesterday up on uh, Twitch and then shared it on Facebook, and it was blocked. I'll tell you why after the break, and uh, I'll even play you the audio from that. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for joining this ride with me, and I'll see you after the break. All Elite Wrestling has taken action on your video because it may contain music, audio, or video that belongs to them. Your video matches 33 seconds of content owned by All Elite Wrestling. The following actions have been taken. Block. Your content is no longer viewable on Facebook. In the specified territories, if you submit a dispute, your content may be restored. And this was applied worldwide. Make sure you only post content that you own or have permission from the copyright owner to use. Posting content you don't own may violate copyright law. Guys, I take 100% responsibility on this one. It's my bad, guys. It's my bad. I did use 33 seconds of content supplied by All Elite Wrestling. What I did was I used uh, portions of a video that they used to hype up the Chris Jericho versus Cody Rhodes match that is, I guess, going to be the main event of the All Elite Wrestling um, pay-per-view. The I think it's called uh, Full Gear pay-per-view. I don't really follow All Elite Wrestling. I'll be honest. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, and it's not because I don't dislike it. Or Let me rephrase that. It's not because I dislike it it's just i really don't have the time Uh, my focus is the nwa my energy is nwa and championship wrestling from hollywood that's really my wheelhouse that's really where i'd rather be so um but i thought i I did take umbrage is that the right word i did take a little bit of uh uh well i wasn't happy with the way that uh aew um has depicted the end of the um Cody Rhodes as not being a former world champion saying that he needs to win his first belt to prove something, but it's like, uh, guys, he, he proved something last year. And I, I go more into that in a video and I'll play that in just a second. But, um, I, I guess, um, <laughs> I guess for everyone out there, you know, uh, the fair usage, uh, uh isn't really a, a thing. And if you're using somebody else's cop- copyrighted content, then um, you know Facebook has every right to block you. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. The video itself, well, I don't know how uh, how Twitch works, and the video is still up right now. So make sure you visit the Twitch uh, channel, which is at the Alliance Blog, to see the unedited version of the video. I'm gonna put some uh, notes together. I think I'm gonna try to redo the video without using DDP talking about. Cody needing to win that world title. Maybe I'll uh, I'll paraphrase it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something silly with it. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. So that's uh, that was kind of funny to me. And uh, you know, I'd like to give you guys a, a inside look at what we're doing here at Alliance Wrestling.com on J Cal's view and the Alliance guys. I try not to be uh, closed off and and to try to be trans- as transparent as possible. Um, so yeah, I was blocked. I broke copyright laws so uh, facebook did the right thing and blocked my video um but if you guys would like to hear what i had to say if you like my hot take well here it is and this might be a normal thing for j cal's view but here's j cal's hot take am 
am I going crazy? <laughs> Guys, am I am I losing it? All Elite Wrestling is uh, going forward with Cody versus Jericho for their heavyweight championship, their world title. They went as far as to put DDP in a promo package talking about Mr. Cody Rhodes winning his first world championship. DDP, you were there. You were there on September 1st, 2018. The biggest indie wrestling show of all 2018, maybe of the last 20 years. Cody Rhodes wins the world's heavyweight championship by defeating this man right here. He did it in... Uh, he, By defeating Nick Aldis, he takes the title to Hollywood to showcase it. Showcases the title in Long Beach with New Japan Pro Wrestling. After winning the title, Cody showcases the belt in Japan. He showcases the belt in Hollywood with Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Cody defends the title in Ring of Honor against Willie Mack. It was a brief run. And albeit a short run, and maybe should have been a little bit longer, but Cody Rhodes, well, he held the t same title his dad did. He held the 10 pounds of gold. And it's a little off-putting and maybe a little insulting for anyone to say that he hasn't held the World's Heavyweight Championship. Now, it was one year ago today, today, to this very day, that that man won the title back. But as champion... Cody was very endearing to his fans. He made sure to sign autographs, meet and greets, handshakes, photos, 8x10s, signatures, even signed 10 pounds of replica. So it baffles my mind why All Elite Wrestling would choose to ignore such a triumphant moment for the Rhodes family. I mean, Cody and Dusty both held that 10 pounds of gold. Not a lot of guys can say that. In fact... I think they're the only ones. I don't mind that All Elite Wrestling ignore the past of Cody Rhodes. I don't mind that they don't want to promote a brand that isn't associated with them. But for a belt that meant so much and with so much legacy, I'm just confused. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm crazy. I like to think we can live in a wrestling world where we don't have to ignore each other's histories. We just promote it. Until next time, I'll see you at the matches. Good night. I don't really care where you stand on All Elite Wrestling, whether you like it or dislike it. Personally, I felt a little insulted that they chose not to recognize Cody's past accomplishments as the world's heavyweight champion of the National Wrestling Alliance or as the Ring of Honor World Champion. Yes, people pointed it out to me. He was an ROH World Champion. The video was mostly made for NWA fans. Um, but yes, you are correct. Cody was Ring of Honor World Champion. Not going to diminish any of his achievements. Um, but, say la vie. Uh, some people don't care. Some people do care. J. Cal and the Alliance blog, well, we care. But that's going to do it for us this time. Again, we really appreciate you guys checking us out. Remember, you can follow the Alliance blog on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. Did I say Facebook? TikTok? We're everywhere, folks. And uh, more content is coming. We still have the, <laughs> the, the Waffle House Chronicles. I don't know what the name of that show is going to be yet, where we... Uh, me and the uh, a panel of NWA fans discussed night two of the NWA Power TV tapings. Uh, my ride along with Big Chi talking about life, wrestling, and the pursuit of happiness. So there's more content coming. Stay tuned. I appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll see you at the matches.
Hey guys, welcome to J Cow's View, the journey of a journalist, the chronicles of a content creator, the musings of a man who loves professional wrestling. I always get caught up on that one. I'm your host, J Cow, and this is a very special edition of J Cow's View because a couple of reasons. One, I'm simultaneously broadcasting the intro of jcal's view on anchor.fm forward slash jcal that's where it's being recorded where you can listen to later but i'm also recording live on twitch twitch.tv forward slash the alliance blog now some of you might check this out later and some of you might not that's okay however you digest the content is perfectly fine with me but today guys today is a special day today is the day that marks 10 years 10 years, guys, that I've been in the podcasting business, that I've been broadcasting my thoughts, my views, my opinions to the world about the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance. Now, when I started podcasting about the National Wrestling Alliance, the landscape looked completely different than it did today. 10 years ago, there was no All Elite Wrestling Ring of Honor was one of the top promotions in the United States. New Japan had not quite yet penetrated the market of the United States. So you basically had the WWE with SmackDown and Raw. There was no NXT. Um, the myriad of wrestling promotions that exist today did not. So Major League Wrestling was on its hiatus. Uh, like I said, there was no... Uh, there was no uh, uh, all Elite Wrestling or anything of that nature. So the NWA was actually a pretty big deal 10 years ago, even though some people would say the NWA died back in, you know, 1994 when Shane Douglas threw the belt down. Uh, to me personally, that couldn't be further from the truth. And like I said, for 10 years, I've been covering the National Wrestling Alliance. Were you guys even watching the NWA 10 years ago? I was. Um, and you know who was champion at that time? Blue Demon Jr. And you know who his chief rivals were? Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce, old school Oliver John. And Blue Demon defended that title in the UK. He defended it, in, I believe, in Spain. I think it was Spain. Um, and, but mostly in Southern California and Northern California. Um, so the NWA history is, is very rich. We all know this. And like I said, for 10 years, I've been documenting the history of the National Wrestling Alliance via the podcast. And so today is very special for me. And I'm going to do something I swore I never would do. I'm going to let you guys hear the first podcast that I ever recorded. It was pretty terrible. <laughs> so I will accept your criticism later. Please poke fun in a very nice and polite way because I do have feelings. I'm a man, damn it, but I'm a man who has a heart. So, guys, uh, after the break, listen to the podcast. Uh, listen to the very first episode of Alliance Wrestling Radio. And uh, for you guys watching on Twitch, head over to anchor.fm forward slash j cal so you could hear the misery and complete terrible production of the first ever J Cal podcast until next time. I'll see you guys at the matches. Ten years of podcasting, 12 years of chronicling the entirety of the national wrestling Alliance guys. This ride has been quite the journey, and I'm not ready to stop anytime soon. So make sure you subscribe to this podcast, and then join us on this journey by uh, subscribing to our YouTube channels, our Twitch channels. You can find all of it, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff, at the Alliance blog. Coming later today, we're hoping to put out um, the audio edition of the latest NWA power review for episode two and hopefully we'll get episode three up uh, either today or tomorrow sometime this week but uh until then hey we'll see you at the matches <laughs>